Hello everybody! Welcome to another tutorial for Lior on board software for Twitch streamers from the studio Questionable Ole. Today I will be talking to you about something very simple yet very powerful which you can utilize with Lior on board and potentially millions of other softwares. Global Key Binds. And also I will introduce you to the StreamFX or Streamer Effects OBS plugin, which I use in some of my meme scenes, which people can trigger. For this particular demo, I will just describe one of my buttons, which triggers a particular filter from StreamFX plugin, and also sends global keys or global shortcut to a particular other program called Voice Mode. Changes my voice also that stream effects filter will change my appearance. How does it look like? Well, it actually looks like that. So whenever people come into my stream and redeem a channel point reward, for 20 seconds you will see me distorted and you will hear my voice in a kind of slightly different non-questionable fashion. A little more questionable. I don't care. With that being demonstrated, let's just dive right in and I'll show you how Ridiculously simple it is once you already have your Lior on board setup, which you can follow my previous video or the first video in the Streamer Inside playlist. Once you have that, all you need to do basically is you need to go to obsproject.com where you downloaded your OBS Studio, then you need to go to Forums, then you need to go to the Plugins section, OBS Studio Plugins, Scroll down just a little bit and there we go, StreamFX for OBS Studio. Go to the download button in the top right over here and install God forbid you are installing your StreamFX plugin with your OBS Studio open. Please do not do that. Close OBS Studio, make sure it's closed before you install anything. Once that's done, open up your OBS Studio and verify that your OBS Studio plugin installation has been successful, all you need to do really is to go to your OBS Studio and locate this Mine menu option, which will be called StreamFX, when the OBS Studio starts, meaning that StreamFX installation has been successfully done. And this StreamFX introduces a number of different filters, which you can apply on your OBS sources in different scenes. And that's what I'm using actually for that button. We need to go to this webcam base scene over here, which only shows my webcam. And if I right click on it, go to filters, you will see that they have a lot of them, but most of them are hidden just because they are an effect which I will be triggering from other buttons, from other lure on board actions, if you will. And one of the filters is called Big Brain, and it's turned off, and if I turn it on, there we go, the distortion happening over here. So you probably are wondering what kind of filter you should choose from here, and it's called Displacement Mapping. Add that in, and on here you will have to choose a file which will sort of instruct the OBS webcam to be distorted by some kind of rule, which will be described in some kind of image file. And StreamFX actually comes with a bunch of distortion examples already. So all I did for myself is I got stretch middle over here, and then distortion type, and then scale like that. And you can see it starts looking just like, just like this distortion. So play around with the settings for you, and you will have a lot of fun with distorting some of your sources. Maybe your webcam as well. I don't know. It's up to you to decide. And this is the filter and the plugin which provides this filter. The second part is Stream Deck, Leo on board. Go into the edit mode for my Stream Deck and go into the button. And let's. I already have the button, obviously, and let's go inside and see the commands. Oh my god, it's only two commands. One command is to change filter visibility to true, that displacement which I call big brain, and after 20 seconds or 20,000 milliseconds, it turned back off. So turn on, 20 seconds elapsed, 
turn off. That's it. But wait a second, what about my voice instructions? Because this same button also sends out global hotkeys so that my other program, which is called voice mod, which changes my voice, can react to those keys. There is a separate interface for the same button, for all buttons basically, if you right click and instead of going to the edit commands, you need to go to edit keyboard macro. And this introduces the different kind of window, and what it does here is you can start populating each line will be a separate key press. I will show you my voice mod. This is my voice mod, and I have a lot of voices here, but only two of them have global keyboards assigned. Like keybinds, keyboards, whatever you want to call them. And my vibrato voice is left control plus left alt plus one. And my back to normal voice is left control, left alt plus zero. Look at this. So in first three lines, I am saying, okay, press control, press alt and press one. For the duration of one tenth of a second, and press them one second after I have clicked this button. I have triggered this button. So after the button has triggered, after 1000 milliseconds or after one second, control will be pressed. After 1000 milliseconds or after one second, alt will be pressed. And after one second, number one will be pressed. The same thing will happen after 20 seconds. Control, alt, and then zero will be pressed together. For the, each for duration of one tenth of a second. Now, how do you add your own buttons? Very simply, click on the plus sign over here to introduce a new row. Click into this black area, and now it will be expecting you to click some kind of key or to press some kind of key on your keyboard. For example, Y, right? And then you need to adjust after the button has been triggered. What is the delay for this button to be sent out? And how long do you want it to be pressed for? And that's that's pretty much it. So you have all those buttons being pushed out to Windows operating system and all the other programs who said to be listening for these global keys, they will receive them. And this is how one button can trigger also the filter from OBS, but as well as send out global keys to some other program for me, namely voice mod. Very easy. It's like what? Eight lines all together. And you have a working thing which looks and sounds amazing. And you can obviously push it one step further, assign a Twitch trigger to it, like a unique command or, or, or channel point redemption, or anything you want really. This is it. This is the shortest video I believe I will have <laughs> on my streamer inside, but it's it's so powerful. And hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'm questionable Ole. If you want something to be introduced as part of my streamer inside tutorials for Leon Board, give me a shout out. I'm always happy to listen for ideas and implement them because it's fun and uh, we're all here expanding our knowledge and horizons together. And that's what knowledge sharing in my opinion, is all about. Bye, see you soon.